that's actually is quite now mess because we are in the end of the season and uh, usually it's better you know but now we are really in the end I, we just um, have yesterday the show of the CNC which was um, quite a lot of work but nice I, I'm quite happy and now we are almost uh, a week far from uh, Paris Costa National show so we are in the last you know pieces um, so we are working the real couture piece here and most of the collection is produced in the factory which is in uh, near Palo Vicenza which is my factory so everything now is kind of start to be very hot you know because um, uh, yeah we, we are really a few hours let's say from from the show Music. Now we start the, the line of uh, CNC here, which, uh, which uh, is, is uh, it's quite a lot of work in Milano. And also the, um, the men's is here. You never know, you never can say, you know, whatever I come back or not, it, it will depend. In, in a way, it's, it's more practical because to move there, we move like uh, 45 people for a week. So it's kind of, the organization is quite difficult also to organize and um, it's a lot of work. This is an uh, old piece and here is more or less is my, you know, book where, where I have on my book and uh, yeah, where, where I, you know, have a lot of inspiration from the book sometimes. So it's where actually I'm, uh, you know, I make the fitting in this place and uh, sometimes I saw with the guys, you know, the pieces, we, we have quite a lot of space so we put all the fabric on the floor. Um, it's, it's a space where, where uh, yeah, I use quite a lot and then um, uh, sometimes, you know, it's, uh, it's really a, a place to think about. <laughs> They, the information, they can come from so many places because, uh, you know, you click in, in, in the net and the really, you can have incredible stuff. Um, so I think book, I, I love book because book, they are so, you know, they, they give you the chance to, you know, go more with your vision, with more creativity. Sometimes we, we, when you have a strong image in the, in the video or somewhere else, they influence in different way. Book is always more gentle, I say, in that sense. So I like the approach with the book and, and to start from something like that. But it doesn't work every time like that because uh, sometimes, uh, you know, you see something in the street or sometimes you see a, a girl or a boy that inspire you or maybe some places, some art exhibition. I like to keep my mind really open about that. So I'm not, you know, I say, okay, let's found in the book or let's found there. It's, it's something that, you know, when you're a fashion designer, in a way you develop a, a natural, you know, it's like you're a cooker. You always want to try to found a new, you know, test and the same. So your natural um, attention, let's say, is, is to, you know, be touched from something. And uh, I like to keep this approach, which is, for me, is the best. Sunset people. There is a few towns that I like to go sometime. I, I like very much in Europe, I like Berlin. I think Berlin is a, it's, it's very, very, quite interesting city, let's say, because um, uh, there is this kind of, uh, uh, you know, attitude of, uh, of a young, young, natural young. I think it's the most young city in Europe, in a way. And uh, you feel that, you feel this energy to produce some idea and to make uh, interesting things. So it's a nice city. And then, uh, well, I, I love also to travel. I think for fashion, what is also very interesting, I mean, it's Tokyo. You know, when you go in Tokyo, you, you see so many, uh, you see everything there. So it's very privileged point of view because the Japanese, they really are open for that. They, they have all the brands from the most, micro brands from, from Australia, wherever in the world, and they have uh, incredible vintage. They, they do a lot of research. 
So that is another fashion city. But I like also to travel, you know, in in uh, in places where just you enjoy the nature as well. We start literally, you know, to to have experiments uh, on the, you know, uh, on the. Um, Piece, for example, we start to put fabric, and then right away I can see, you know, immediately the reaction, and if it's something, you know, is correct or not, maybe let's go somewhere else. That's interesting work because I'm, I'm trying to, I, I want to do for for Paris some kind of couture, but very graphic and really, let's say, uh, modern. I, I don't want to do anything uh, retro or. So I try before to make something more constructive, but in the end I realized that uh, this season I like something kind of uh, graphic and, and more modern in a way. Um, timeless, let's say. So I think this will be the approach of the next season. Here we are moving where really we, we do the thing. We, you know, we, we have a kind of a small atelier where we, you know, we stitching and we cutting and we fix all the stuff. So sometimes, you know, when I have some idea, I, the first things I need to, to, to realize is the fabric, you know, the, really literally uh, to understand, you know, how it's, you know, it's going, if it's more tough, stiff, whatever. Uh, so I, I usually work a lot first with the fabric. And then when I'm an idea about, you know, where I want to go, I start to drawing the things. And then, of course, from the drawing, we start to produce the stuff. Of course, before that, there is a lot of work. <laughs> here, maybe you can have one impression. This section, for example, here um, is where we really we have the coordination, you know, and the production of all the idea that we send to the factory. And also, I have my assistant. Not everybody is here at the moment, but we have uh, like uh, 15 people work here with me. They take care each one of one, uh, you know, somebody take care about the woman, somebody about the man, and somebody about the product of accessory. I'm an old style designer, it means I'm not an art director, like uh, I'm, I'm, I'm working on the real piece and I'm drawing by myself. So that makes a difference of the organization because most of the designers, they have a different approach. They have many designers and they just do the art direction and they just want to say more or less what they want to do. Me, I'm more in a way that I'm more involved in all the process. I started 21 years ago. Actually, in September will come out the book of, uh, of uh, 21st year of Costa Nacional, which is quite interesting. We choose with Carlo, my brother, we, we start together to do 21st year because uh, it's incredible, but it's, uh, it's kind of a uh, job, a strange number in our story. Here we have the sectional accessory here. There is uh, Massimo that take care about the, you know, the bags and the shoes and uh, all the accessory, which is very important business actually for us and even is very important sales because we have one factory of shoes ourselves and it's uh, more than 35% of uh, the total income. And uh, so we really work a lot. We have five, six people here work to hear about, you know, ties or the accessory parts. Here is uh, the, sh the fabric. They are in Paris because now there is a Premier Vision in Paris. And actually, we are um, you know, we are four people here that they they are going around to looking for vintage pieces or fabric anywhere and reproduce that story. Also, more than 70% of the fabric we design by ourselves, so it's a lot of research and, and uh, quite a lot of work before. I experimented a few years ago a beautiful collection called... Um, it was inspired by, by Africa. I make a nice uh, trip to Africa. And uh, we work on that, try to see from a different point of view. It was really fantastic because this catch is so rich of, uh, of creativity. It was very easy to produce bags, shoes and accessories. It was a really fantastic experience. Uh, you know, when you always work with, with um, uh, culture like Africa or, you know, all the exotic culture, it's really inspiring for a designer because uh, 
they really have a natural uh, sense of, you know, uh, beauty, which is different from us. We are more in a world, if you want, you know, our culture is more in some kind of roots. But when I was there, I really found something incredible. You know, you are surprised all the time. Anyway. As I said uh, before, you know, this is the first 21st year of uh, Kosum. And 21st year for us is very important because uh, it's 21st is, uh, is a magic number for Kosum. I born 12 March and Carlo 21st, which is you know when you put the number together. And then all our uh, the factory we have in uh, in Tiena is uh, the number is 21, and the shop in uh, we have in Milano is 12. Here is 12. It's very strange. So it's 12, 21, 12, and we decide to celebrate 21 because. Uh, is the majority, before in Italy, the majority was 21 years old. And there will come out a beautiful book, uh, which we work with Asolin in uh, September. This is the way that normally we work. Um, it's kind of um, it's kind of way that um, we work on some sketches and then we realize uh, the 12. Can you work? And this piece, they are normally, they are, you know, all made by hand. It's interesting because uh, sometimes, you know, when you realize and you design something and then come on real, it's, sometimes it's better and you're surprised. Sometimes it's really awful and you, you know, you are in love with your sketches and you say, wow. And then when you realize the business, oh, my God, it's a disaster. <laughs> I was completely wrong. So it's, that, that is a really, really nice moment because um, Myself thought some really creative on the piece. Sometimes uh, I completely change, you know, uh, when I when I saw the, the real clothes because, uh, uh, yeah, you know, you can open and then you can change and completely another another aspect. But this is one of the part of the, my work that I love more because I study sculpture and. So to you know, feel and touch and move and, and make the shape, it's a real pleasure. It's physically, I mean, it's a real pleasure. My mother and my father, it was kind of a trendy um, family because they opened the store actually 50 years ago. And uh, they was the first, actually, the first three store in Italy to carry, for example, Mary Quant in the, you know, 68. The first one uh, also to carry Saint Laurent. They, they was, you know, like trendy uh, 70, 60, 70 couple. They like to go around the world and bring this in the south of Italy. Still now, my mother, she was completely involved in the store and uh, she has uh, all the best brands from, from the most classic, like Gucci, to Chloe, to Balenciaga, to Nacional. So she, she's still trendy. She's a book of fashion of the world. And so when I need something to ask, she remember everything. And there I learned, you know, to... to I learned a lot because uh, I was growing up there and uh, I was touching, you know, this material. So, I realized after when I started to do this job that uh, what, what I learned was really was really um, natural without any, you know, when, when you absorb the things and then you realize, wow, I know a lot of things about that, but you didn't realize, you know, how we get that story. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it was uh, it's still, I mean, it's, uh, I have the, the, the chance to start to love fashion, you know, very naturally. I'm very busy because in the end our company is more than 220 people directly. We have, we have uh, three factories, we have one factory in Tiene, which is uh, around 60, more than 60 people, and this produces the garments. Then we have one, we opened a factory two years ago, Shoes in Padova which is uh, another 60, 65 people. Then we have one factory of uh, leather in the south of Italy. Then you have our store. So it's kind of, um, we are not gigantic company, but we are kind of medium Italian company uh, with, uh, with the employee uh, and uh, quite, you know, quite a lot of people. So it's, uh, you're busy. Even when you try to not be busy, you're busy, which is nice. Sometimes I regret when I was smaller because it was everything more, you know, dream and... and uh, but still, uh, it's nice because we are an independent company, which is kind of rare. 
And especially in the last few years, we fight with, with the gigantic company and we survive, we grow. Last year, we grow more than 30%, which I think it's, it's kind of, um, it's kind of um, nice in a way. This is uh, sometime, you know, the way we are, we are, you know, think that we are project the thing. So we are working, you know, in, in the sketches and then we realize the pieces and then we realize if we like the pieces or not. Uh, and then, uh, you know, maybe, as I said before, you know, we make the sketch and look fantastic. Then maybe when we realize in the fit, we say, wow, it's not so good because sometimes it's maybe not right the fabric or the idea is not so strong. So, um, but always we start from some project, you know, sometimes we make it more clear for, you know, the pattern maker, they can understand. So it's different approach. Um, you, we always start from some drawing, of course, and uh, the drawing comes from the vision that we get in general. You know, when I was really, really young, I studied cello and uh, well, I, I, you know, music still is my soul. And uh, a few years ago, I had the chance by, you know, I, I heard it was something about Jim Morrison and I was curious, so I went to London, it was um, an exhibition, they sell some pieces and I get incredible jackets uh, from Jim Morrison, which is kind of velvet, you know, really baroque, black velvet jacket, fantastic. And uh, I use it a few times. Now it's really on, under a glass. You know? <laughs> I think music is so linked to to fashion. You know, I think. Uh, I mean, in a way, in, in in the modern culture, music is it's the culture, uh, and it's uh, it's uh, we we love music and and uh, the musician love fashion. Thanks God. So there is this kind of uh, personal relation. Sometimes I have a lot of friends, musicians. We have a lot of friends. You know, we we recently for the last three or four tour of Rolling Stone, we did quite a lot for me, for the guys, um, a lot of stuff for the tour. You know, for the big band. I mean, like uh, you know, you two, we 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 make quite a lot of stuff. So I've uh, it's nice because we have since the big band and even the small band. So it's it's really transversal in a way. Uh, which, which is uh, kind of uh, really interesting for me and nice, so we're, it's good. <laughs> Ten years ago was uh, the 96. Uh, I designed uh, the glass house uh, four, five years ago. Um, and uh, I, I, I like this area because it still is kind of um, old style. This is, uh, was realized after the Second World War in Italy, uh, like in the 50s. And I bring this kind of transparent, uh, you know, southern, typical southern of Italy light, you know, I need some kind of light and some kind of uh, real sky. So I was thinking of a, a glass house. Uh, it was nice, it was uh, difficult to realize because um, in Italy the rules of uh, architectural rules, they're quite difficult. They don't want to do anything new. But in the end, you know, they liked the project uh, and uh, we realized, yeah, so we are quite happy. It's interesting because we have this beautiful water on, on it, which is um, part of the system, cooler system, uh, and uh, regenerating the water and still keep, you know, kind of cool the ambience downstairs. So it's, it's really interesting system, how to make cool and, uh, and keep the water, the same water. I like the approach of, for example, uh, the old Saint Laurent, you know, the real Saint Laurent, um, and the Dior, because um, in a way they use uh, Dior use this kind of structure, like architecture, which I love to work on it. And Dior, in a way, bring everything in the modernity. Uh, Saint Laurent, in a way, because it bring that kind of structure, but in a way that the woman look more beautiful. And I think Saint Laurent brings some kind of modernity again because uh, he bring this into the Pret-a-Porter, which I think was kind of big revolution. And um, the idea, you know, that work that you can inspire by, by many different things, you know, from art to, to whatever, and bring it again in the real life, uh, it's, it's one of the points that I like to work in Cosme Nacional.